Honorable President Sir, I'm Tina Dabi and I belong to the Rajasthan cadre. I would like to begin by expressing my profound and heartfelt gratitude to the Honorable President of India for giving us time out of his busy schedule to address, guide and inspire us today. It is a matter of great pride and privilege to have got an opportunity to speak about the collective experience of the most memorable journey undertaken by each officer of the 2016 batch of the Indian Administrative Service. This beautiful journey began with the 91st Foundation course where officers across the services were trained together. We were not only provided with all possible academic inputs and insights on public administration and good governance, but also through extracurricular activities like the Himalayan trek, village visits, we were able to forge lifelong friendships and develop esprit de corps. Foundation course was succeeded by phase one of the IS professional training. We got the priceless opportunity to travel across the length and breadth of the country. This Bharat Darshan enabled us not only to see India, but to feel India, to breathe India. On the academic side, classes were held on all subjects and matters that would come handy while executing the duties and responsibilities of an IS officer. We were then sent out for nearly a year-long district training, whereby we got an opportunity to learn from the best collectors in the country, those people who were actually making a difference at the ground level. District training was succeeded by phase two training where we were made to share our varied experience of working in the field from across the country so that we learned the best practices of governance in India and also to learn from each other. Phase two towards the end had a week long foreign study tour to help us understand the governance models followed elsewhere. When I had joined the service two years ago, I did not have much idea on what it really means to be an IS officer and how an IS officer could fulfill his or her responsibilities to meet the expectations of this great nation. This training, this two year long affair has taught me and my batchmates to channelize our energies in the right direction to become individuals who would impart their duties with utmost integrity, devotion, professionalism to solve the troubles of the last man. To conclude, I would like to quote a few lines from the Academy song of the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration, Masuri, which echoes in the hearts and mind of all of us, which we all, 176 officers, have pledged to live by, what this training has really taught us. Raho dharm me dheer, raho karm me veer, Rakho unnat shir, daru na. Be firm in your faith, be courageous in action, keep your head erect, fear not. Thank you. Honorable President Sir, a very good morning. I am Dr. R. Vaidhinathan and I hail from Pondicherry. I belong to 2016 batch IAS of Tamil Nadu CADA. I completed my undergraduation from Pondicherry University in Medicine. I worked as a residential medical officer in Delhi for three and a half years. I completed my district training in Salem district, which is known for its industries and mangoes. During the period in district, I had an opportunity to gain exposure in diverse sectors such as public health, sanitation, urban planning and law and order. I also had an experience to interact with the people in the district. These interactions helped me to understand their hardships and problems. On the other hand, various attachments of the different departments in the district enabled me to understand the constraints and challenges on the administrative side. This facilitated me to gain a new perspective of looking at issues. I believe it will help me in better service delivery and adopting good governance practice in the near future. At this juncture, I would like to highlight my experience during a dengue outbreak in the district. When I worked as a doctor in the Delhi, I had an experience of similar dengue outbreak. At the time, I looked at the issue from a narrow perspective and my primary focus was on curative aspect. But now as a civil servant, I had a holistic and comprehensive understanding of the problem and hence I was able to look at the both sides of the coin. That is preventive as well as a curative aspect and it has been a, my privilege to address with Honorable President and I hereby express my sincere gratitude for providing this opportunity. Jai Hind. Honorable President Sir, I hail from Manipur and have done my Master of Science in Physics from Delhi University. I have been allotted Manipur cadre in the IAS. We started our career with training at the Lal Bahadur Sastri National Academy of Administration. Apart from imparting skills and knowledge required for a civil servant, the academy nurtured in each one of us the values of integrity, professionalism, moral courage, fairness, and empathy with the underprivileged. I received my first ever field training in Imphal East District of Manipur, where I served as assistant commissioner. 
it gave me the opportunity to see how a responsible officer can make a huge difference in the lives of the people. I have witnessed how various implementation of various schemes of the central government, such as the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana, etc., has brought about positive transformation. I also had the opportunity to be part of Go to Village mission introduced by the state government of Manipur in two remote villages there for taking administration to the villages and addressing their grievances instead of waiting for the villages to come to the district and subdivisional headquarters. I would also like to share some of the challenges faced by administration in Manipur, which include lack of basic infrastructure, lack of accessibility to many remote areas, and disturbance to law and order. Having completed my training, I now look forward to take charge as a responsible and dedicated officer, contributing to the efforts of the government in effective service delivery and development of our nation. Thank you, sir. Honorable Rastapati Ji. I am Sridhar Chamakuri from Telangana, allotted to Andhra Pradesh cadre. I have done engineering from Usman University, Hyderabad, and a few years experience as software engineer and teacher. I am privileged to be here in Rashtrapati Bhavan in audience with our Rashtrapati ji in this August house. Why do I choose Indian Administrative Service? Not because. It is a service to be allies in the society, but this service affords us to be part of our system at strategic junctures in effectively delivering outcomes on the ground. Sir, it is beyond doubt that my training at Mussoorie, my field days at as assistant collector at Palakkad district, Kerala, and experience sharing with my senior civil servants, and also few days of assistant secretaryship in Delhi, all together afforded me not only an ample opportunity to understand fundamental principles of administration, but also perspective of society with respect to administration. 50 days of Bharat Darshan made me to realize the disparity in development and disparity in living standards of the people across the different parts of our country. I am proud to be a product of Indian society, even being differently able. My country didn't let me lag behind, but provided me tremendous opportunity to be at par with all. I am indebted to Mother India. Finally, to be an IAS, not an end, but a beginning of long journey as career, which should be entwined with concrete deliverables and outcomes in transforming our society into developed one. With these words, Rastapati ji, I conclude. Honorable President of India, I am Garima Singh from the Jharkhan Kada. Today I have received a unique opportunity to present before you a synopsis of the myriad range of experiences that we learn from in our two years of training as IS officers. Our alma mater, Lal Bahadur Shastri, National Academy of Administration, imparted me with an extensive understanding of my duties as Deputy Commissioner, conducting free and fair elections, lectures by experts on issues plaguing the nation, and other avenues such as understanding my own psychological profile, media interaction, and leadership workshops. While Academy helped me in understanding the basics, the one-year district training in Hazaribagh, Jharkhand helped me to get in touch with the actual issues at grassroots level. My experiences ranged from learning the working of multifarious departments of the district collectorate the implementation and issues related to many central and state schemes as BDO, understanding the complex nature of revenue administration as circle officer to making Hazaribagh 100% ODF under the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. I also had an exciting opportunity to work as distri district social welfare officer during which we helped in the modernization of 40 Anganwadi centers. This created a sense of doing something worthwhile and meaningful. Since my interest lies in the sphere of social welfare and education, I'm glad I now have a chance to work with the Department of School Education and Literacy. I hope these experiences shared by all my colleagues will help shape us into the well-rounded officers in the service of the nation. Thank you. Honorable President of India, I am Kumar Ashirwad from Bihar. I've been allotted the Maharashtra cadre. 
I'm honored to have this opportunity to share the journey of two years of our training. And I would also like to put forth an observation which I feel could be of some value in the larger scheme of things. Our training in Labasna, Masuri was primarily focused on developing officer-like qualities. We learned what it truly means to be an IS officer and the enormous expectations that our country has from us. Our training covered lessons in law, public policy, economics and various development approaches. The lessons covered both theoretical and practical aspects of a wide range of topics. Our district training with its independent charges gave us a true picture of India. We learned through experience the intricacies of administration, the complexities of society and their interplay. I think it is safe to say that all of us learnt and evolved more in that one year of district training than we have in the past so many years. I would now like to make an observation or rather an idea that I have arrived at through my own experiences in the district and through discussions with my batchmates. Across the centre and states, we have thousands of schemes with different parameters of identifying beneficiaries for different schemes. We can have a single portal where the citizen simply enters his details such as age, income, category and other socio-economic indicators and the portal automatically tells him the various centre and state schemes for which he is eligible as a beneficiary along with the various procedures he needs to follow and the requisite documents he needs to submit to avail the benefits of any scheme. The use of regional language in the portal along with the spread of digital literacy via Digital India will enhance the potency of the portal in the future. I would like to thank the Honourable President of India for giving me such a patient hearing. Thank you, sir. It is my great privilege to be addressing the Honourable President of India in this August gathering. Every experience in our life is being orchestrated to teach us something we need to know to move forward. On May 10th, 2016, we entered this prestigious government service with 176 hearts elated with joy. It was time for us to shine and make a mark in the sands of time. As our alluring training started, we made innumerable friends, had once in a lifetime experience in Foundation course, Bharat Darshan and Phase 1 in Labasna. It was like yesterday, we were catching our breath during treks and bonding over tea in pleasant Masuri weather. Ten months of training and now we were ready for the field. With excitement in our hearts and caution in our minds, we landed in our respective cadres. The wise words of seniors resounding in our ears as we were trained in state ATIs. The world was getting real. The training imparted seemed more relevant and responsibilities more concrete. Senior officers looking at us as young colleagues with bright, innovative ideas. We were a little scared and confused how to learn about a huge district with multiple departments. Able district magistrates as mentors were a guiding light. We learned the spirit of all India service. Doesn't matter whether you come from north or south, working in east or west of this diverse country, India, the core values of people remain the same. They welcome and respect you with similar enthusiasm. They love and appreciate your good work and their grievances are alike. The language of smile and compassion broke the communication barriers. We learned what work is worship means. No person or post is higher or lower. A good working professional, may it be a caseworker or regional commissioner, has some knowledge to impart, some experience to share with lesson loaded anecdotes. It broadens our perspective multifold. Observing the working style of officers in our formative years of service life is extremely enriching. Interacted with gamut of people on a daily basis exposed us to their plight. Entrusting us with independent charges gave us confidence to tackle tough situations.